Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Andy Ridge here. Today we're going to show you how to build a teleport system with no presets and no default messages. So, the first thing we're going to do is build our areas over here that we want just the four different locations to teleport to. So it doesn't need to be perfect. And we're just using four different colored blocks here to show you. So, we always need a sign first, and the sign is going to ask the user where they want to teleport to. So in here, we're going to say behavior. In the behavior, we want it to be an asker, and we're going to say um, to where. And here we're just going to type the different locations. So we've got black. Um, we've got colourful. We've got blue, and we'll just say no as well. Remove the health component from there. Edit the logic, and here we're going to type custom messages for each of these. So we've got black in here. We've got colourful. You've got blue, and the bottom one here we will do is none. So that's everything set up for that here. Next, we're going to have our user stop sign, and these will be invisible so it doesn't matter, and no collision as well. This is going to be an asset spawner here. visibility off, we'll change this to zero, and the asset to spawn, we're going to use a flagstone one here, doesn't matter, you can use which asset you want, you just need to remember, uh, the tags here, we're going to type this one in the chat, checkpoint, it has to have a capital C here at the start, and we're going to say no collision, and we're also going to remove these here and the message required to spawn now that will be the location of choice so we didn't add a brick because we said no instead but here we're going to add brick there we go so brick the delay spawn is one now we also want to make this a speaker here this speaker will remove the text it will detect an entity and down to one the detection range target tag will be avatar then the auto hide delay will be one and the message when spoken to we're going to put our custom message here is avatar teleported that's everything for the asset spawner here now we want to bring out just another asset, anyone will do. We'll put it on the floor here. And we'll also make it invisible and no collision. This asset wants to be just a speaker. Remove the hello text. It will detect an entity. Turn it down to two. And the target tag will be checkpoint. Now, the message when spoken to here will be kill avatar. Auto hide will be down to one. Then we've got one more asset to add in here. I'm going to use a numpad. You can use anything that you like. Just move it to the center. The Indicator will be removed and the behavior will be avoided. All you need to make sure is that the asset spawner spawns the asset inside the void. So activation mode of the void. We'll do it on message received. And the message required will be avatar teleported. Blocks will be don't destroy, 
asset destruction will be only destroyed from list. Here we want to edit the logic and add an asset to our list. We're going to add the one that the asset spawner spawned, which in our case was the flagstone one. Here we just want to flick that switch to turn it invisible. Now we've got the basic setup of our teleporter here. And we just need to make sure there's two invisible uh, two things to turn off for the invisibility when you have a void behavior. I'll also do that as not collision. We want to go to the global parameters, controller, components, make sure our death delay is minus two, and our checkpoint stays the same, and then the instant death message is kill avatar that we set before. So this is all set up now. We want to highlight everything that we've got in the area and duplicate it to our each location that the avatar will go to. So at each location, there's only two things for us to change and that is the message in the sign and the asset spawner. So the asset spawner wants to have the same message as look the, the location that it's on. So here it was brick, here it's going to be the message blue we added before. On the back one over here, it's going to be the message colourful. And on this one, it's going to be the message black. Then our signs just need changing at the ones that we duplicated it, because we've still got the blue, so we want to change that to brick. And the message for blue will also change to brick. Uh, brick. Here we also change black to brick and this one to brick. This one colourful plus the brick. And that one uh, goes to break. So that's everything set up. We'll jump straight in and see how it goes. So here's the one we've just made. We'll speak to our sign and we'll go to the color. Perfect. Speak to our sign and we'll go to the black. Brilliant. And we'll go to the blue. So there we go, guys. We've got everything set up and show you how to do it. And if we have a look now, I'll just run through it quickly. This here will ask us where to teleport. That will send a message to our asset spawner, which will spawn the item on the floor. This speaker will recognize that the item has been spawned and send a message to kill the avatar. The avatar will die. He'll come to the checkpoint at the location we want it, because that's what was spawned here. Once the avatar does arrive, the asset spawner then activates the speaker and sends the message to activate the void which is the numpad. The void activates and kills the um, the checkpoint only and that is it and then on to the next one and so on and so on. So there's a little step through process and it also means that one can't start to the other. So there we go. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the metaverse. Boop.